It's time to screw the formalities, bring in the ubi, get ready for a bite-sized vegan Q&A. And this time, it's personal. Hi, it's Emily and Ubi from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to a personal Q&A. So I'm gonna just get right to it because there's a lot of questions, and I know I'm not gonna reach everybody, so I'm gonna do my best. And actually, this video ran really long, so this is part two. If you want to see part one, look in the upper right corner. There's a little thing that's about to shoot out. But you That's the noise I always wish that they would make. One question I got a lot of is, do I have a significant other? And, or am I in a relationship? And I am not. Uh, I answered that in a Q&A like over a year ago. I'm still not. And it's not something that I uh, pine for or feel that I'm missing anything or that I have a second half of me and I'm not complete. I might, you know, at some point be in a relationship. Uh, it's just I tend to focus so much on my work and my activism and that to me is my primary goal. And I, at, the, at the moment I don't really have time for anything else, let alone another person. Anyways, there's that. Such a romantic I am. It's incredible. So I got a number of questions about my education, so I thought I'd just, like, what my education was. I got my bachelor's in arts and women's studies, art and women's studies. I was originally a biology pre-med major. Then I took two years off, I worked full time, and then I went to grad school for art. And initially I was going to go to med school, but I decided to do art first because I knew if I went to med school, by the time I was done, I probably wouldn't be able to have the time to do art. So I got my master's and my master's of fine arts in art. In America, you that's the terminal degree in art. You, get, you can get a master's of arts and then you can get a master's of fine arts, which is an MFA. So there's no PhD in art. The MFA is, is basically it. So I did that and wrote two different theses and had theses show shows that are exhibited. And you can even get my thesis on my artist website. Then I actually started med school and you know, my goal has always been to make an impact for the animals, whether through my art, through activism, which I see as one and the same, through writing. But I, you know, I'm fascinated by, by medicine and I figured that way, because I have no business sense and no money sense, I figured if I, if I can be a doctor, then I can pay for my activism and artist and being an artist. And I don't have to worry about trying to sell stuff because I'm awful at that. But then I also realized, you know, I'm in medical school and I'm like, I'm going to be doing this what, like 10 plus years by the time everything's done? And I'm not gonna have the time to do activism while I'm doing that. And I just feel, I just really wanted to make an impact as soon as I could. So, very unlike myself, I stopped med school and threw myself into Bite Size Vegan full time with no plan about how that was gonna be sustainable, which was terrifying. And it still is every day. But luckily, I have people on Patreon who support me and it was really scary even asking for that support and it's still scary asking for it but it's made what I do possible because I couldn't do it without them so thank you guys all of you you're amazing a couple of you wanted to know more about my time in India so when I was an undergrad I went to India twice the first time I went to study arts and culture and then I did a month-long independent study project on uh, Indian women's body image and the perception of beauty from um, the perspective of Indian women versus the more typical, or what, what is typical in America. So kind of comparing those two different ide beauty ideals, comparing and contrasting. Uh, then I went back, I coordinated my own internship and I went back and worked with an NGO uh, in Jaipur, Rajasthan. And I studied female infanticide and female feticide and how that contributes to adverse sex ratio because India is second only to China with adverse sex ratio meaning that there are more males than females because of um, sex selective abortion and infanticide which is less common than the feticide. So it was a very intense and somewhat depressing experience uh, but you know, I lived there for a while and studied those. I went out to different villages. Um, there's, it's a, it's a very complex topic, and I mean, I could go on. I could create an entire, you know, hour-long video on that, and I did write a 90-page report on it. So, another question I got a lot was my favorite singers or musicians, and I always forget when I try to like answer these questions. So I brought up one of my favorite playlists. Um, definitely the Gorillas. I have a Gorillas tattoo. 
Uh, the They Might Be Giants is another one of my very favorites. And I have an entire, my entire sleeve here is about They Might Be Giants. That's another question I got a lot about my tattoos. If you want to know more about my tattoos, check out, there's two videos. I have my tattoo tour, which will be linked up there and down below, and my tattoo experience of getting my leg piece finished, which I'll also link below. But back to the music question. Yeah, Gorillaz, uh, They Might Be Giants, Ani DeFranco, I love her, Tegan and Sarah, um, The XX, uh, Sigurd Ros is one of my very favorites, so also Jonesy because that's he's the, the singer for that, but he has his own independent stuff. San Cisco, Lumineers, Codeline, um, Iron and Wine, Bright Eyes has some good stuff, uh, Neutral Milk Hotel, crazy, but I love them. Um, the Decemberists, love the Decemberists. Regina Spector, I love her stuff as well. Of course, you gotta like, you know, old school Die Toten Hosen and Die Ärzte. Good German. Oh, Crow, German rapper, big fan of him. Beula is another one of my favorites. Jan Tiersen does really amazing things. He uh, did the soundtrack for Amelie. Detective Brian, really good group. Woodkid, love Woodkid. But then I love like, you know, kind of old stuff, like, or, you know, old, like Offspring. Still love Offspring. Girl Talk has some, some good stuff for, for working out, especially. Explosions in the Sky, really like them. Kate Nash is fun. There's so many. But there's there's a smattering for you. And I know I'm still gonna miss some, but three that I can't believe I've left out were The Beatles, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, and Simon and Garfunkel. Hope that was hope that was good. I had a couple people request about my workout routine when I recently got in shape for the photo shoot. I will be doing videos on those, I promise. I know it's been forever. It's gonna happen. I'm not sure when. I tend to not prioritize things that are about me and my body because there's more important things than my abs but I'll get to them okay where do I see myself in five to ten years with Bite Size Vegan again I would like to have books published I would like to have the e-courses out finally uh, I eventually would like to travel more and, and, and lecture um, but again a lot of this is dependent on time I have to figure out a way to not have the channel take up 100 plus hours a week in order to be able to do those things. So we'll see. It's going to be an evolution. Stick with me. I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching, for supporting me, for liking, commenting, subscribing, any of those things to help me get the vegan message out to the best of my abilities. And I really want to thank my patrons over on Patreon who are making it possible for me to continue this work. Because since I do work over 100 hours a week, I have no ability to do anything else for income. So you guys literally make this possible. If you want to join our little party, check out the link up there. There's also support links down below. If you liked the video, do give it a like. If you're not subscribed, I don't know why you watch to this because you have no idea who I am, but I would love for you to subscribe if you want to get to know me more and actually get more education about veganism. I don't talk about my business very much. Stay tuned to the channel for more Q&As and other helpful things. Now go live vegan, and I'll see you soon. Did I bore you? Is my life boring to you?